Hello and welcome. This will be our first video about a proximity switch or some kind of proximity switch. We are going to talk about this thing here. Can it be seen by the autofocus? I'm not sure if... Ah, yeah. uh, here. This is how it looks like. This is so-called read contact. This read contact is within a glass housing. Yeah, There are two long tongues. I'm not sure if you can see it, probably not. There are two, blue. There are two long tongues which are not touching each other. Okay, And they are inside this glass housing, this tiny little glass housing. Okay? To see if it's switching or not, I prepared here a little something. I prepared here a little something. Uh, here I have power supply. Let's measure. We have 9 volts. 9.1 volts. 9.1 uh, volts. Here is plus, here is minus. I've used a resistor and an LED. The resistor is a 1K resistor so that the LED will not just burn. And how is it look? How does it look like if I connect the 9 volts? If I connect the 9 volts, how does it look like? It's lit. Yeah. If it, if I unconnect it, if I unconnect it, it's turned off. And this exactly, this should be done by this read switch now. Yeah. This should be done by this read switch. This would be the task. Uh, it's pretty important yeah, that this read switch, this read switch, you do not break the glass, of course. Yeah. Why is the glass here? Because I said every time we turn off, there might be some spark inside. Yeah. And this spark might be enough to let something explode if there is an explosive atmosphere. So it's just covered in glass that this cannot happen. Yeah. There's, there's no contact from the inside to the outside, yeah. so it's shielded. So if even if outside there is some explosive uh, atmosphere and there is a spark inside, nothing will happen. However, you really have to take care not to bend too close to the glass because then you will shatter the glass simply. Yeah. So I'm using here a small, a small. Uh, Zange? Gripper? Is it called Gripper? What's Zange? I'll look it up afterwards. Uh, to be sure, I'm banning it away. Uh. So, now I bent it and now I will insert it here. Try to insert it at least. Uh, let's see where I'm hitting. Okay, right now we don't have contact. If I bend it a little bit, so it's okay. Now it seems to be stable. Now it seems to be stable. How do I switch it on and off now with some metal? No. Yeah some plastic. No. But with this thing here, let's see what is happening. You see, it turned on. It's not really proper working. I will insert it like this. Because now I hopefully can. Can move around a little bit better. It's on.
Now it's off. It's off. Now it's off. Huh? <laughs> Not that easy, it seems. Uh -huh. I already broke it. I already broke it. Yeah. You see? This is why it's not that easy. Look at that. This is just dangling now. This is just dangling. Maybe a little bit far away. This is just dangling. Haha! <laughs> I said be careful. I thought I was. But I was not. Okay? Good, so this also explains, here is a glass, piece of glass, okay, this also explains why it did not work proper. Now let's build it up again, let's build it up again. Use the next one and hopefully this will work. This will work better. Hmm. Now far away from the glass, bend it far away from the glass. I think I've I've destroyed it last time already. I think I've done this. Insert insert here and insert there. Here is our proximity switch. I will now connect. Okay, nothing happened. <sighs> Let's see, metal, no, plastic, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. And now, magnet, also not. Mm -hmm. Wie gibt's denn das? Oh, es ist das Live Shows, hm? Aha. Okay. Metal? Not. Plastic? Not. Seems like I have not magnet. Now it's working as it should, finally, finally. <laughs> so, every time a magnet gets close, every time a magnet gets close, it will switch, you see? This is the magnet. That's a read contact. Now it's working proper. Read contacts to react on magnets. Yeah? There might be a difference if we are close, very close, yeah? or if we are far away, there is the switching distance. If we are very close or have a strong magnet, it might even switch on and off when I am moving. See, it stayed on now simply. So, you have to take care that this is the correct distance. Okay. Then it's working pretty well. Cook, cook. If we are far away, it's also working. Yeah, you see, there was a double blinking on, off. On, off, on. This depends a little bit on the field of the magnet. Yeah? So you have to get in proper distance to the to the proximity switch, then it's working proper. 
Yeah. Here we even see. Look at this. On. Off. On. Yeah. If you're far away, on. And off. On. Off. On. Yeah. It depends. Depends on the on the magnetic field. So it might be get a little bit tricky to find the right the right distance. But actually this is how it's working. How it is working. So the two the two tongues inside it, the two contacts, they are contacting each other. Every time a magnet is close to them. And then this LED is lit. This is the read contact. Switched in, switch in a glass, switch in a jar. <laughs> okay, that's for the demonstration of the read contact. Thank you very much for listening. Next time we talk about a different method.